Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to transfer your Revit objects and parameters to Visual Art using Rhino inside Revit. The first thing that we are going to do is open in Rhino and we will open Grasshopper. You will need to download the Grasshopper definitions that you have in the description of this video. We can open this Grasshopper definitions, go to File, Open and here we will choose the Grasshopper definition in the language that we have in Revit. We will use these four buttons here to transfer our information to Visual Art. If we click on this one, we will bake the styles and levels. If we check the Rhino file now, we can see that we have all the styles imported from Revit. We also have the levels imported. If we go back to the Grasshopper definition now, we can click on this button to bake all the walls, windows, doors, floors, roofs, columns and furniture objects, and also lines. All these Visual Arc objects will be transferred to Visual Arc with their corresponding style. All of them will have as well all the parameters that we have previously defined in Revit. We can go back to Revit and continue working in our model. If we go back to Rhino, we can update these changes by opening the Grasshopper definition and clicking on these two buttons again. Now we can see that we have our changes applied here in Visual Arc. Now we are going to bake railings, curtain walls, beams, stairs and ramps. We will do it with this button here. These objects are transferred to Visual Arc as Rhino Geometry with an IFC type. For example, this one will be here an IFC railing. It will be named with a corresponding Revit type. For these objects, we will get the parameters as well. We can continue working in Revit with this object. For example, we are going to edit the path of this railing. We will select this line and move it. Once we have our changes made in Revit, we can go back to Grasshopper to update them. To do that, we are going to click on this button first and then we will click on this one again. And just like that, we will have our objects updated in Visual Arc. 